Okay, we have to talk. This is in my brain and I just need to like word vomit it out. The iPhone freaking 15. Do I think that this is gonna be the best phone ever? No, absolutely not. I think it's gonna be exactly the freaking same. Like, what's next? Are we gonna have like hologram FaceTime? Are we gonna have scratch and sniff? Like, what can we do to make the iPhone better than it is right now? Nothing. I heard that we're gonna zoom in really, really, really far away. Like, really far away. And in my head, I was just thinking like, do I, do I, do I really zoom in that much in my life? No. My brain has been only thinking about the iPhone 15 because literally nothing else is exciting that's going on in my life. Um, so I'm forced to think about a phone that I don't even know about yet. Like when you upgrade, you're just getting a bigger battery, you're getting a nice camera, and and that's that's just not enough. The Dynamic Island was kind of cute, but it just feels like it just it just feels like it's just always been there even though it's never been there but it also just feels like it's it's something normal i don't think that there's anything that we can do to the iphone that is going to make it different the only thing that we can change really is the color and mind you the color is my biggest ick okay the phone gives me an ick if this is the next color i would like to talk to someone at apple myself and and just ask them why why? I will not be getting the new color if this is what it is. If this is the new color, I would like it deleted, um, erased. Let's just let's just stick to the to the basics now. I don't know. It looks rusty. I just don't think that it's my thing. So if it's for you, with lots of love, I will not judge you. Um, but in my head, I don't think it's for me, personally. Um, I'm just gonna give up the hope of ever getting a pink iPhone Pro Max. I gave up. It's not happening. But they did come out with a pink iPhone for the iPhone 15. Look at this pink. This is actually pink. Like, this is Barbie. And I would like to give off the same energy as Barbie, you know what I mean? Here's the thing, I don't want to risk my camera. I take pictures all the freaking time that I just cannot fathom the thought of, of just my phone not having the three cameras. I don't know if I'm too bougie now. I, I, I think I'm too bougie now. Let's rate the other colors though. I give the pink a 10 out of 10 because that's literally the perfect pink. So this might be the lineup. And the blue is cute, but it's blue. Um, I think there's gonna be like a mint color. And that one's extra cute. I, I really enjoy that one. They're good. They're, they're what they're supposed to be. Since I'm done asking for a pink iPhone, imagine how beautiful it would be if we had this color. Like, not in a case. As the phone. Imagine, I know that Apple has the budget to create things that are, like, beautiful and all that stuff. Like, imagine if we just did that. Iridescent. Stop. And if we get another red iPhone, I just, I just, I can't get behind a red iPhone because I just imagine the person holding that iPhone is just always angry. I heard that people with red iPhones are a red flag, so I steer clear. Before we got this like rusty red color, there was like, there was a rumor of an orange iPhone. What the frick? <laughs> that is just basically gold in a copper kind of way. Where is the flavor? Where is the spice? Where is, where is it? I kind of feel like the hype of the iPhone is going down. And as much as I, I hate to say that, I hate to say it because I am an iPhone lover for life, but my brain is telling me that this is it. They're gonna change the charger port. They're gonna make the buttons a little different and they're gonna add a better zoom quality to your camera. Those are some of the rumors. And in my head, I'm just like, 
So I'm gonna get the same phone. For people like me, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I just know myself. I've been asked before, like, why did you get the deep purple? If you knew that you weren't gonna like it, uh, like, six months in. Listen, I have extreme FOMO. And I know that every case company is going to make some kind of phone case for the purple iPhone. And I wanted them to direct their sales towards me. <laughs> and for a while I was thinking about like waiting for my AirPod Maxes because I thought that they were going to come out with some, some different colors, you know, like they were going to do a whole different line and stuff. Where it at? Nowhere to be seen. They came out so long ago, so long ago and there hasn't been an upgrade. We're getting vision goggles from Apple. I thought that was fake. When I first heard about it, I thought it was fake. <laughs> and I was like freaking out because I was like, there better be a pink iPhone in my future if they're making this. I am an Apple person down to the core. So like anything that they do, I, I will buy except for the Vision Pros because I think that's a little out of my budget. <laughs> that is so out of my budget. I would have to start a fundraiser. I would have to start selling things in my room to afford these things, like $3,000. I can't wait to watch rich people play with it. And here's the thing, like I would, I would do anything anything to be at like the Apple convention, the Apple event. Like I would do anything to be there. To look at this freaking crimson red phone. Even though I don't even like it. But I would I would do anything to be there. I would. I just would. Now, here's a suggestion. Here's just a suggestion from me, okay? Apple, put me on your iPhone team. Put me on your iPhone case team. Let's create some magic together. I want to make history. And that's what this is. They just need to improve their phone cases. That's that's for sure. Because I, I love the silicone ones. Don't get me wrong. They're bomb. They're cute. I use them all the time. But yeah, like, imagine the power their accessories would have if they added a little pizzazz over here. A little, like, gl glitter over here. I know that Apple's known for like minimalist designs and all that stuff, but let's let's do it up this year. Nobody from the Apple team is gonna even hear my words, but I would still like to put this out there. My next phone is gonna have the best freaking battery life you've ever done seen. Right now, my phone capacity Ooh. is at 87%. For some reason, they just keep on finding batteries that are better for your iPhone. I, I don't understand it, but it's it's a thing, I guess. <laughs> my thing is, is that I never let my phone die to begin with. So like to me, my battery life, it's not a big deal. I would like to just end this video by saying that I'm a little bit like sad. <laughs> like I'm a little sad. We're getting the iPhone 14 but in a sparkly version. That's what it is. So I wanna know what you guys think. Let's have a whole full-on discussion about the iPhone 15 and everything that's coming out. If you're upgrading, let me know what you think that you're gonna like do next. Or are you just not gonna upgrade? Because at this point, you're just, it's just, it's kind of smarter not to. Unless they like build a whole new attachment to the phone that does like little backflips and stuff. I think that the iPhone is gonna always be the same now. And I really hope that my iPhone cases fit the next one. I don't have that many people to talk about like new Apple things with. And you guys are it. You guys are my people that I talk to about this stuff. So I would like to like share ideas. Comment down below. I will be responding. So let's talk. Let's have a moment about this stupid red phone. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The button is down below. And if you wanna see me on any other social medias, I'll have them right here for you. And I'll see you guys for the next video I do. Bye!